one of the newest and best ballparks in all the land, PNC Park in Pittsburgh, as MLB The Show gets set to bring you another edition of Major League Baseball. Interleague Baseball on tap here tonight, as it'll be the Boston Red Sox taking on the Pittsburgh Pirates. And welcome again, everybody, to our coverage of Major League Baseball. Matt Vaskersian here to call the balls and strikes. Alongside me, Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. And Hud, let's turn to you. What catches your eye in a matchup like this one? Well, one guy that'll certainly provide an offensive spark is Freddy Sanchez. This dude came out of nowhere a few years back to win a batting title, and he's backed it up ever since. I expect he'll make a difference here for sure. All right, Rex, thanks. We'll hear from Dave in a moment, but first let's check out the starting lineup for the visiting Boston Red Sox, presented by Majestic. Jacoby Ellsbury is the leadoff man. He's in center field. Dustin Pedroia will bat second and play second. Following him is David Ortiz, and we all know the kind of power he has. Kevin Euclid, the third baseman, is in the cleanup spot. Jason Bay will bat fifth and play left field. Then behind him, batting sixth, is the right fielder, J.D. Drew. Josh Bard is behind the plate. He'll hit seventh. Jed Lowry, bat eighth and be it short. And doing the pitching and batting number nine, Josh Beckett. And on the mound to face these guys, there you see the numbers for the veteran left-hander, Paul Mahalam. And behind him, a look at the Bucks' defense as they're led by a first-time goal glover, Nate McClough, out in center field. Jacoby Ellsbury makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. And we are underway here this evening as the first pitch misses for ball one. Not quite reaching 90 with the fastball, but it's one and one now. Ah, and that fastball's too much for him there. One and two. And this is fouled straight back. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. He'll try a different arm slot here to see if he can get him to chase. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. And he's making him throw a lot of pitches to open up the game here. Guys get to see what he's got. Now the three and two pitch. Fouled back. Swing, hard hit ball to second. And that's through, a base hit. Yeah, a nice base hit to open up the ball game. And you know the first thing that's crossing his mind right now is, give me that steal sign, I want to go. Dustin Pedroia will take his first cuts of the ball game here. First pitch coming. And there he goes towards second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Not in time as he steals second. Boy, you love to have that speed element at the top of your lineup. He's able to single his way on base. Then he decides to run on the first pitch. And now he's in scoring position with nobody out. No one out with a runner at second. Now 
Now a swing and a hard hit ball back through the box. Flipped to first by Sanchez. One away. Good fundamental baseball right there as he gets the man over to third with one out now. David Ortiz will get his first cuts here. And that misses for ball one. One zero is a curveball that's over for strike one. And this is ripped down the first base line. Foul. Now a swing and a soft liner. And the throw to LaRoche is in time. Two God. They'll take the good with the bad here. They're able to get the out at first. But meanwhile, the runner from third is across with the first run of the ball game. Kevin Euclid will be the batter. Outside with the fastball that's 1-0. Tried to get the arms extended, but he couldn't. One and one. And this one's up around the eyes. Two and one. And there's the good eye of Euclid on display. It's three and one. Jason Bay would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. Well, once you fall behind as a pitcher, you're almost forced to throw a get-it-in pitch like this was, and he gets burned. Jason Bay will stand in. Now a breaking ball runs in on him as he's got to get his hands out of the way on that pitch. And he looks at a curveball that falls in one and one. Inside and low, two and one. Swing and a line drive. And that'll get down for a base hit. And he is safe on a close play. No hesitation that time, rounding second, as he's going to hustle all the way to third on the base hit. 
So runners at the corners with two gone, and in steps the dangerous J.D. Drew. And over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. From the stretch. And a pitch up and in, keeping him honest. One and one. And he lays off a pitch down and away. Ball two. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. Throw on to LaRoche is going to be in time and the inning is over. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. The Red Sox on top, one to nothing. Starting lineup for the host, Pirates, is there on your screen. Nate McClough is the leadoff man. He's in center field. Batting second, the shortstop, Jack Wilson. Freddy Sanchez bats third. He's at second. Then comes Ryan Domit. He'll be behind the plate. After that, first baseman Adam LaRoche. Andy LaRoche is in the sixth hole. He plays third. Brandon Moss, the right fielder, bats seventh. Niger Morgan hits eighth in left. And batting ninth and doing the pitching in this one, Paul Mahalam. They'll square off against the veteran workhorse, right-hander Josh Beckett. Beckett, of course, so key in both the Red Sox run to the 2007 title and the Marlins run to an 0-3 ring. Wasn't quite as dominant as usual in 2008, but there's no reason to believe he won't be back in top form this time around. A look there at the Red Sox defensively as they'll feature not only an MVP at second, but a gold glover as well, Dustin Pedroia. Into the box now is Nate McLeod as he'll be in charge of leading things off in the home half of the first. Now a swing and a fly ball. Bay is there to make the catch and it's a one pitch out to start the home first. Jack Wilson will get his first opportunity now. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line in right. And a long run, but he gets there, and that's good range in the outfield as there are two gone. That can be a tough play at this time of night. First few innings sort of waiting for the lights to take full effect, but he was able to run that one down. Freddie Sanchez will take his cuts now. Swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Well, they decided to start him off with a curveball here, but this pitch gets too much of the plate, and he's aboard. So a runner at first with two away, and here's the young catcher, Ryan Domit. Beckett checks, now the pitch. In there for strike one, 0-1. Oh and, and 
And here's a pitch high and tight for a ball. One and one. Now a ball hit hard towards center. And that's in there. Base hit. Well, he has to reach out and get this thing off the plate, but he gets the bat out there and gets himself a knock anyway. So it's first and second with two men gone, and stepping in is the first baseman, Adam LaRoche. First pitch on the way. Swing and a line drive to center field. That's in there. Base hit. And the runner will score from second. No wasting any time there, Matt. He gets the fastball to begin the at-bat and just shoots it right back where it came from. Andy LaRoche will stand in for the first time here. Quick wrists here as this is yanked down the third base line. And a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Second inning coming up from PNC Park, all tied at one and one. Josh Bard leads things off now in the top half of the second. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. Here's the pitch. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. This will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Breaking ball as this runs in on him and he has to step out of the way that time. Outside, two balls and two strikes the count now. Fastball hit on the ground is short. Throw to first will be in time and there's one gone here to start the second. Jed Lowry digs in at the plate. Now a swing and a ball pulled down the line to third. Base hit. Have a look. The catcher sets the target down around the knees, but this is a good low ball hitter, and he gets good wood on this one. Josh Beckett will take a long look down here as he may be bunning to avoid the double play. And he's squaring around here, but he can't connect one strike. LaRoche is on the bag over there at first, so the right side of the infield is wide open. 
Runner on first here with one gone and a 1-1 tie. From the belt, kicks and deals. Gets this one down. Flip to the second baseman covering now for the out. Trying to avoid the double play ball that could have ended the inning. When you don't have confidence in a pitcher swinging the bat, this becomes a very wise play. Jacoby Ellsbury will dig in. He singled and later scored his last time. And that misses inside 1-0. He's got to be careful not to overstride into a pitch on his hands like that. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. and Ball three as he misses low with it here. Dustin Pedroia would be next. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And that's finally over for a strike. He set now the pitch. Called strike two, and now it's full three and two. Ball. called strike three and the side is retired so it's no runs on a hit no errors and a man left we'll go to the bottom half of inning number two all tied at one and one Brandon Moss will start things off in the bottom of the second Hit on the ground is shortstop. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Major Morgan will be the batter. Lays off 1-0. Boy, he got the benefit of the doubt at the plate that time. That looked pretty good. Out in front as he yanks this down the line at first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Paul Mahalam will dig in here. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. The pitch. Here's a ground ball to first. A flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Good work that time by Josh Beckett and it remains a one-all tie. Dustin Pedroia is ready to go here as we begin the third. And he lays off a fastball. Looked good, but it's 1-0.
Now a ground ball towards the hole. And past the diving infielder, that's a base hit. David Ortiz will dig in. 0 for 1 with a run batted in thus far. Come set, now the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Now a pitch swung on and missed as the count goes to 0 and 2 to Ortiz. Ortiz is a pretty darn good two strike hitter, Matt, so you can't take anything for granted here. under this one and in fact Blake's is bad as this one's popped up. Domit keeps the mask on and he has it for out number one. One gone here in the Boston third and now we'll see the third baseman Kevin Euclid. Hit hard to the right but foul. He's ready now, the pitch. And that's in there as well, 0-2 now. Well, he got away with that pitch, but when you're a veteran pitcher, those are the kind of location mistakes you just can't afford to make. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit, 1-2. In the dirt, might not be enough to try it. And that runner's flat-footed that time. He's got to be moving on those. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike. And that's the second out of the inning. Here you go on pitch track. Let's see where this thing was. Mm, yep, that's down at the knees. You got a hacker, they'll send you back. There's two strikes. Jason Bay will dig in. He singled his last time around. Swing and a line drive. In there, a base hit. The relay throw, but it's way late and he's in there. No hesitation that time, rounding second, as he's going to hustle all the way to third on the base hit. J.D. Drew will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. This ball will be chopped foul. From the stretch. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. Over to first with it is LaRoche. And that will be that. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. All tied at one and one. Nate McLeod makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Now the pitch. Grounded fouled off to the right side. Back 
back-to-back -to -back tough pitches, and he's down 0-2 now. Boy, and that is just the definition of hitting your spots. Here's Beckett's 0-2 pitch. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. And let's take a look at this 1-2 pitch on swing track. He's probably gearing up for something off speed. Because as you can see, he was way late on that fastball. Jack Wilson will try it again. He flew out his first time. Oh, and a big breaker that time from Beckett as he jumps ahead. No balls and a strike. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Sometimes guys go down and get the soft stuff. Not there. Slice down the line at first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Freddy Sanchez will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. Wing and a liner towards second. There to get it is Pedroia. Throw on to Ortiz and that'll retire the side. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. On now to the top of inning number four. All tied at one and one. Josh Bard will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Pitching coach will love that location. Lays off the slider, and it's one and one. Now a swing and a hard hit ball back through the box. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Aboard with the leadoff single, and the way things are shaping up, they're going to need to capitalize on every chance they get because they might not get too many. Jed Lowry will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. Here's the first pitch to him. Good fastball that time by Mulholland as he's ahead in the count here. Nothing in one. Yeah. Right back with another fastball. It's 0-2 now. And he's just saying, here's my fastball. Try and hit it. Got him in an 0-2 hole now. From the belt, kicks and deals. And he misses there, one and two. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. And the 
fastball easy to lay off that time two and two and he's starting to get up there in pitches now worth keeping an eye on leadoff man aboard here in a 1-1 ball game And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. And wow, I'm not sure, A, how you take that, and B, how it's not a strike. Three and two now. up that time that's lifted in the air out toward left. Morgan is right there as he puts it away no problem for the first down. Josh Beckett will step in now. Showing bunt here, but he takes ball one. Trying to get him to bunt at a ball. Good reaction with the bat there. Squares to bunt, but he can't connect. Strike one. squares and gets one down. Flip to the second baseman covering now for the out. But they'll only get one as he's in there at second. Trying to avoid the double play ball that could have ended the inning. When you don't have confidence in a pitcher swinging the bat, this becomes a very wise play. Jacoby Ellsbury will step in. One for two in the ball game. Here's the first offering. And he runs that one high and tight for ball one. And he buzzed him with that one a bit. one -oh pitch is right there but ruled a ball. 2-0. And that misses as well, 3-0. and oh. Dustin Pedroia would be next. Here he comes on 3-0. and oh. And he takes ball four. So now at least they're set up for the force at any base here with two away. Yeah, that looked pretty good there, but it's a pretty good job by the catcher to come out and give him a pat on the back and get him to refocus here with two outs. So two on with two away, and standing in, the young second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. My gracious, where did that pitch miss? It's called ball one. Two down, runners at first and second. Swings under this one as he pops it high in the air toward the right side. Sanchez will put this one away and the side is retired. Boston strands a couple onto the bottom of the fourth, tied 1-1. Ryan Domit will step in, a base hit in his last time. He 
And Beckett will start him out with a fastball here as he jumps ahead, nothing and one. Ball one. And he's got that thing falling right through the zone here. Here it comes. Swing and a hot shot towards the hole. And that's through into left field for a base hit. Well, you want the guy leading off an inning to be a catalyst and get on board. So now they've got the possible go-ahead run on first here. Adam LaRoche will step in. An RBI single this last time around. swung on and taken the opposite way out toward fairly deep left center. Bay will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Andy LaRoche will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Line hard, deep into left. And a nice play as he reaches up to grab it on the run for the second out. Brandon Moss will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Well, you'll see, they decide to stay away, and they've done their homework. But he gets pretty good extension that time and makes good contact on the ball. Major Morgan will step in, a ground out victim his last time. and a ball hit to the left side and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Gets the fastball by him here and he's in control 0-2. I think it's fair to say he's warmed up out there. 96 that time. Too low with a fastball there. One ball, two strikes. Out in front of a changeup as he rolls over it to second. Throw on to Ortiz and that'll retire the side. David Ortiz will get his cuts leading off. On to the top of inning number five we go. All tied at one and one. David Ortiz will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. And he throws the fastball by him here. Oh and one. Boy, he's trying to put that thing into the river. A swing and a hard hit grounder. And he'll have himself a leadoff single as this is through into left. Eight hits in the ball game for him, but they've had just one run to show for it. That has been what you call scattering eight hits. Kevin Euclid will dig in. Took a cold third strike his last time.
And that's in there for strike one. Caught a lot of the plate with that bender, but he still wouldn't offer. Swing shot back up the middle. And that'll get down for a base hit. There's hit number nine for them in the ball game, but despite that, they still only have one in the run call. They just haven't been able to string anything together so far. Jason Bay will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. Inside with the fastball, it's 1-0. And with that pitch count creeping up towards 80 now, you've got to be alert for signs of tiring. And this is lined hard to deep left. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And the runner is in from second. That's hit number 10 he surrendered thus far, and you've got to imagine he's approaching the end of the line here. Sean Burnett is going to have his work cut out for him here. J.D. Drew will dig in, 0 for 2 thus far. Change up too low and it's 1-0. and oh. Couple of men in scoring position here with none down. Now he goes the other way with a fastball and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. And that gets over the wall now but both runners will score anyway. Been a close game to this point, but a great at bat there plates a couple of runs and gives them a 4-1 lead. And more importantly, a little breathing room. Josh Bard will step in, one for two in the ball game. Starts him out with a slider too low for ball one. Three runs already home here. The next pitch. Lined up the middle. And that's in there. Base hit. A run is in. Well, and no matter who they trot out there to pitch, Matt, just adds more fuel to the flame. They can't get anybody out. Jed Lowry will step in, one for two in the ball game. Low for ball one. one oh on the way tried to get some loft to that swing but it's one and one swing and a miss on the fastball and it's one and two boy there are NBA centers that couldn't reach that one And he got him. Well, this is just a case where he reaches back for a little something extra, and he just fired that fastball by him. 
Josh Beckett steps in now. Trying to move the runner into scoring position here, but this is a foul ball. Runner at first here, one man out. Now a sacrifice attempt here. Throw on to first, so the sacrifice is successful. Trying to avoid the double play ball that could have ended the inning. When you don't have confidence in a pitcher swinging the bat, this becomes a very wise play. Jacoby Ellsbury will stand in, base on balls his last time. And that's taken high and outside for ball one. Four runs here in this half inning. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. But this will be foul off to the right out of play. Now the 1-1. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Two out here and a runner at second. first will finally retire him as the inning will draw to a close so it's four runs on five hits no errors and a man left last half of the fifth coming up the Red Sox are out in front five to one Ramon Vasquez will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here First pitch coming. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. And, and on 0-2, and I'd be surprised to see another fastball in the strike zone here. And the pitch. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Swing and a ball hit hard to third. No problem for Euclid, and there's one gone. Nate McLeod will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Hit. There's a strike at the knees, 0 and 1. One of the secrets of his longevity in this game, work fast, change speeds, and throw strikes. One out, nobody on. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. And he's just starting to dig his own hole at the plate right now. That's the second time he's struck out in the ball game. And you can see on swing track, he needs to be more selective up there. 
So two gone here in the Pirates' fifth. And stepping in is the right-handed hitting Jack Wilson. Good fastball there from Beckett. 95 on the gun. Nothing in one. the pitch and Jack can't come up with that one so the count moves ahead to 0 and 2 now now a swing and a little soft liner here and the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first this should have gotten him out of the inning, but a bad throw here will keep things going. Freddie Sanchez will stride in, rounded out his last time through. And a fastball just misses for ball one. Now the 1-0 pitch. Here's one hit towards the hole. Throw on to Ortiz, and that'll retire the side. So no runs on no hits. One error in the inning, but a man left stranded. Five innings complete. Boston's out in front, 5-1. new pitcher coming on and it'll be the former number one pick out of St. John's right-hander Craig Hansen. Dustin Pedroia will stand in. He popped out in his last time. Swing and a ground ball to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. David Ortiz will step in. Singled and came around to score his last time. Now the pitch. And there's the fastball from Hanson, and it's a good one as he gets ahead. No balls and a strike. And you see the infield swung way around to the right here, and that opens up a lot of room on the left side of the infield. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. Two and one. Bases are empty. One man out. Strike, two called, and it's even at two. 95 on the fastball that time. He's got some zip to that thing. Sets the 2-2 pitch. <laughs> and down goes Ortiz as he swings and misses for strike three. Just what you want out of your bullpen. After that big four-run inning, he comes in and gets two quick outs here. Kevin Euclid will dig in. He singled and later scored his last time. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. one -oh pitch now. And 2-0 and oh now as this misses below the knees. That thing's moving pretty good at the end. Grounded foul. Two 
two out, nobody on. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. The 2-2 two -two coming. And this is fouled into the seats over from first. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger and the side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. To the bottom of the sixth we go. Four, five, and six coming up. The Red Sox on top, five to one. Ryan Gomet will dig in. He singled his last time around. Starts him out with a curveball for a strike. Boy, this thing sweeps right across the plate. Don't quite know what he's waiting for. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. No problem for Euclid, and there's one gone. Well, as a pitcher, you'll want to throw strikes, but sometimes too many is a bad thing. You see there, 38 of them. He's been in the zone quite a bit here. Adam LaRoche will step in, one for two in the ball game. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Up with the ball is Pedroia. Throw to first in time to get LaRoche, and that's the second out. Andy LaRoche will step in. He's 0 for 2 to this point. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Curveball hit on the ground to shortstop. Throw on to Ortiz, and that'll retire the side. One, two, three, go the Pirates. They're down here five to one. Jason Bay will dig in. He doubled home a run last time around. Ball one. And at least he's keeping that thing low. He won't get hurt down there. And this winds up inside for a ball. 2-0 and oh now. A soft liner to the right side, and this is going to be a foul ball. Here's the two and one pitch. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Another look there at one of my personal favorite places to do a game, PNC Park here in Pittsburgh. Matt Vaskersian, Dave Campbell, Rex Hudler bringing this one to you. J.D. Drew will get another crack, one for three thus far. And 
and that's high for a ball, 1-0. Man. One out, nobody on. Ball two now. Yeah, and he'll look for something a little higher here. <laughs> and this one finds the corner for strike one. Here's the pitch. That Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Bases are empty, one man out. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Ready with another 2-2. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. And he swings and pops it foul behind the plate. And there's out number two. Josh Bard will dig in again. He singled home a run his last time. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Well, he might be 24, but he's throwing here like he's a 10-year vet. Fastball that time is nowhere close, and it's even at 1-1. One one. Come on! And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Here's the 2-1 pitch. And this one's low here, so the count swells to 3-1. and one. Swing hard liner to left center. Base hit. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Jed Lowry will get another crack, one for three thus far. in there for strike two. And he won't offer it that. Too high. One and two. Low for a ball as he battles back from down 0-2 to even it up at two balls and two strikes now. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And a foul ball straight back. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Trying to backdoor him, but it stays outside just a bit. Right 
Grounded foul off to the left, so they'll do it again. Grounded foul. On the ground towards second. Throw on to LaRoche takes care of him, and with that, the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Stretch time coming up here in Pittsburgh. The Red Sox are out in front, 5-1. to one. Brandon Moss will step in, one for two in the ballgame. First pitch coming. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Stays alive as this is grounded foul. <laughs> Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Boy, and no factor up there with that swing. He was way late on the fastball. Niger Morgan will step in, a ground out victim as last time. And he'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. And the throw is too late. He's on with a beautifully placed bunt single. And this is something you always have to be thinking about. He'll indeed drop it down from time to time and legs it out. Stephen Pierce will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Move over to first. Almost caught him leaning that time. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. and oh. And the infield's into double play depth there as a ground ball could get him out of the inning. And he misses low with it, 2-0. Oh. Runners on first with one down. Swing and a liner, but foul. Hit hard towards the hole. And that is through in the left field, a base hit. Well, and you can't ask for much more than that. They turn to the bench here, and he comes through with a knock. That is nice work. Nate McLeod will dig in. Strikeout victim is last time. Fastball off the plate away for ball one. And obviously a double play ball would be big here as it would get him out of the inning. The next 
pitch. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Boy, and even late in the ball game, Matt, he's still getting that fastball up in the mid-90s. First and second now, one man out. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. 1-2 and two now as that's in there at the knees. A few pitches to play with now. Let's see if they can get him to fish at something. In the dirt, and now let's see. And I'm very surprised, Matt, that they decided to stay where they were. You've got to be bouncing out there. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Here's a ball hit foul down the third baseline, so they'll try it again. Payoff pitch one more time. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. Throw over to Ortiz, gets him two down. The throw pulls him off, but that was a good job of knowing where the bag is, and he gets back in time. Jack Wilson will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Good fastball there from Beckett. 95 on the gun. Nothing in one. the belt the pitch and low it's a ball and a strike and even when you're missing low with a fastball it can still effectively set up your other pitches and that misses two and one Swing and a ball line hard towards short. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Pirates strand a couple. They're down 5-1. to one. New pitcher coming on, and it'll be the 6-foot-7-inch right-hander T.J. Beam. Josh Beckett will take his cuts now. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out towards straightaway right. And he will get there as he puts this one away on the run for the first out of the inning. Jacoby Ellsbury will get another crack, one for three thus far. Ball one. Looks like it had him fooled a bit, but it couldn't hit the target. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Two and two now. And I'll tell you, he better not start falling in love with that location because that's a spot where he's going to get burned.
Here it comes. And this pitch is hit rather sharply toward the third base coaching box. It's a foul ball. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now. Three and two. Dustin Pedroia is on deck. And the pitch. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. Up with it is Wilson. Off balance throw, but he couldn't get enough on it, so it'll be scored as an infield single. And Matt, that's fun to watch. The more pitches you see in it at bat, the more chance you have of locking in on one, and he came through there. Dustin Pedroia will step in. One for four in the ball game. Now a throw over to first. And a dive, but he's back in. Fouled straight back. Now a ball rolled slowly down the third baseline. Barehanded pickup. And safe at first on a bang-bang play as that last lunge was enough to beat the throw. Fifteen hits for him now after that last one as they've really come out and swung the bats well. David Ortiz will step in. One for four in the ball game. Right now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here. 0 and 1. Might have just been looking at one there, because that's the pitch he can normally handle. Moves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. McClough is back though, and he's there to put it away. Two down. The relay. But too late, and he's safe at third. Trying for a little insurance right there, and just didn't quite get it all. Kevin Euclid will dig in now. Two hits in four at-bats thus far tonight. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. Not a bad spot to miss. He might even go chase it out there. Runners at the corners, two men out. Slider, but that's below the knees, and it's 2-0. and oh. to first and a dive but he's back two oh on the way and that one's wide to the mark ball three and sometimes young pitchers like this will try to overthrow that fastball runners on first and third two away That one's in there, three and one. And this is hit in the air over toward the left field line. Morgan is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Boston strands a couple. They lead this one, though, 5-1. to one. Freddie Sanchez will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number 8. Yeah. 
There's a fastball from Beckett for strike one. And he hasn't lost much of anything off that fastball. It's still getting up there in a hurry. And he lays off for ball one. Here's the 1 1 pitch. And that's on the outside corner, 1 and 2. Oh, and that puts him in a pretty good hole now. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it, one gone. And here it is again. He thinks the thing's low, but you can see pretty clearly that this thing comes right in at his knees. That's a good call. Ryan Domit will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. And first pitch swinging as this is bounced on the ground towards short. Throw over to Ortiz, gets him two down. Adam LaRoche will stride in, rounded out his last time through. And he lays off a fastball. Looked good, but it's 1-0. and Yeah, where guys start missing up late in the ball game, it can sometimes be a warning flag. Now the pitch. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Pretty well hit, deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats foul. And a curveball swung on and missed, and a great call there as the inning is over. Good inning for Beckett as he has little trouble here. We've played eight full. The Red Sox lead it five to one. Jason Bay will get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the ninth. First pitch on the way. Ninth inning underway as the first pitch misses for ball one. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. Hey. One and two now as this catches the outer half. And this is hit well towards the hole. And that is in the left field. So the leadoff man's aboard to kick off the ninth. Matt, you can just tell he's in one of those grooves where he can do no wrong. That's hit number four for him right there. J.D. Drew will step in. One for four in the ball game. And here's the first pitch. And a ball one and oh. Now a ball line 
hard toward right center. And this will plug the gap. Extra bases for Drew. Well, you see it right there, his second double of the night as he just continues to put in a bid for player of the game. Josh Bard will dig in. He doubled his last time. straight back. Get the foul back. Outside for a ball, one and one. Pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And not in time as the second run scores. And he continues to swing a hot bat in this one. That's four hits in the game for him. Jed Lowry will step in. A ground out victim his last time. Here's a cold strike about thigh high. Nothing in one. Good late break there. Good pitch to get ahead on. And there's ball one. Swing and a ground ball towards the middle. Step on the bag for one. On to LaRoche, just a step too late as they can't get them both. Josh Beckett will stand in. He flew out his last time up. And he'll try to bunt that man to second, but this one kicks foul. Now a bunt attempt, and it looks like a good one. And the throw will come to first, so the sacrifice works as planned. Well, this is going to wind up ticking somebody off. This is one of those unwritten baseball rules that you do not bunt on the team when you've got a big lead. Apparently, he thinks he's above the game. Jacoby Ellsbury will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. And now a soft liner to the left side. Foul. in there and he's ahead 0-2 now and with a few pitches to play with let's see if they get him to chase something here and a good fastball here as he pops him up back behind second base Wilson is there and the side is retired so it's two runs on three hits no errors and a runner left on We'll head now to the bottom of the ninth. Boston's out in front, 7-1. to one. Andy LaRoche will try again, 0 for 3 thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. 
Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. And that is through into center field, a base hit. Brandon Moss will get another crack, one for three thus far. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. And that's past the diving infielder for a base hit. Well, and this is a good approach to this thing. He gets a fastball in the inner half, but he just churns those hips and pulls it to right. Hideki Okajima will come in now working with a huge lead, so he'll just look to get some work in here. Niger Morgan will step in, a base hit in his last time. And he pours this one in at the letters, 0-1. Pause, now the pitch. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Looks like he might be getting squeezed a little bit there. None out, runners at first and second. Off speed pitch and this one runs in and nearly gets him here. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Well Matt, things are just going from bad to worse here this half inning. Robinson Diaz will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. He set now the pitch. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. One zero pitch is a circle change. It runs outside two and zero, and at two and zero now, Matt, this situation is quickly going from bad to worse. <laughs> and he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. to the right side but this is back into the seats a foul ball now the 2-2 pitch and he misses this one inside and that'll run things full three and two and nowhere to put him he can just look for something good here now a ball lined to the right side that's in there. Base hit. Boy, and Matt, it is so hard to come off the bench cold like that and deliver, but that's just a super job of hitting right there. Jonathan Papelbon is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Nate McLeod will have a shot to do some damage, but he can't get them all back, so he needs to just get on base here. And this is in the air now, out to left. 
Bay has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And safe at the plate as he just gets in ahead of the tag. Sacrifice fly in the RBI that time, as you got to figure he got the job done there. Jack Wilson will try and erase his 0 for, 0 for 4 in the ball game. Misses inside with that one, ball one. And let's see if that sets up the outside corner now. Downed fouled off to the right side. Here's the one one. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. Look at this. To second for one. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Worth a second look here. Not only does he knock the thing down, but great presence of mind to get the ball quickly to second. That's just a perfect play. Freddie Sanchez will stand in. Called out on strikes his last time. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Yeah, trying to get him to chase out there, but that ball had too much tail on it. Here's the 1-0. And that misses 2-0. Slider taken for a cold strike. 2-1. A lot of torque on that thing. Runners at the corners. Two men out. Ready with the 2-1. Now a fastball for a strike, and from 2-0, it's back to 2-2. Two two. Down to the last strike, so they certainly have their backs up against it. Line softly to the right side, and this is going to be a foul ball. Another 2-2 offering. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. Base hit. A run in. The throw to third. But too late and he's safe at third. And that is a great A-B there. Not only do you wind up with a knock, but you make the pitcher use a lot of energy and effort to do it. Ryan Doman will try again. Two for four in the ballgame. First pitch to him. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Sight of a smart hitter right there. Splitter that misses too low, and he's behind 2 and Ona. Runners on first and third, two away. The 2 on Line hard, but foul. Yep. And a split-fingered pitch catches the zone two and two now. The catcher didn't even have to move his glove for that one.
Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. Well, this ball club showed me a lot tonight. They really put their nose to the grindstone and came away with a hard-fought victory on the road. And fellas, as always, there are a few guys we could have chosen from, but out of everybody, Dave, I think the guy you see here is most deserving of being our upper deck player of the game. Yeah, Matt, he was certainly a factor here. You see the two hits for him in the game, and he was certainly instrumental in helping his team win. So that brings us to the conclusion of this one. For my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler and all of us here at the show, this is Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. Once again, our final score, the Red Sox win it 7-4. This has been a presentation of MLB 09 The Show. For more information, log on to MLB09.com. So long, everybody.